Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Manifestations of the mercy of the Prophet, peace be upon him, with his nation. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book to his Prophet, We have not sent you except as a mercy to the world. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Mercy is one of the great and noble morals of our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Mercy was manifested in the life of our Prophet, peace be upon him, in its highest forms and its best meanings. His mercy extended to cover all creatures. As the Almighty Allah said, We have not sent you except as a mercy to the worlds. He, peace be upon him, said, I am only bestowed mercy. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, was merciful to the weak people with special needs, the orphans and the poor. He commanded to show mercy to them and to honor them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, He is not one of us who does not have mercy on our young and does not respect our elders. Once a man came to the Prophet complaining the hardness of his heart, the Prophet, peace be upon him, asked, Do you like to soften your heart? He said, Yes. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Have mercy on the orphan. Wipe over their heads and feed them from your food. This will soften your heart and your needs will be fulfilled. Abdullah ibn Abi Awfa, may Allah be pleased with him, said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, never felt shame of serving and fulfilling the needs of the widow and the poor. The Prophet, peace be upon him, appointed Abdullah ibn Umm Maktoum, may Allah be pleased with him, who was a blind man as a mu'adhin, and he once chose him as his deputy in Medina during one of his journeys to lead people in prayer. Also, children had a large share of his mercy, peace be upon him. Once the Prophet, peace be upon him, was leading people in prayer, and he heard a baby crying. So he hastened to finish the prayer out of mercy on the baby's mother. Therefore, he, peace be upon him, once said, I stand up to lead prayer with the intention of prolonging it. Then I hear the crying of a baby, and I shorten the prayer, lest I should make it burdensome for his mother. Also once the Prophet, peace be upon him, kissed his grandson Al-Hasan ibn Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, in the presence of Al-Aqra ibn Habis. Thereupon he remarked, I have ten children and I have never kissed any one of them. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, looked at him and said, He who does not show mercy to others will not be shown mercy. Moreover, the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to show mercy to the irreligious people and the sinful one. He would advise them and guide them to righteousness. Once a young man came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and said, O Messenger of Allah, give me permission to commit adultery. The Prophet said, Would you like that for your mother? The man said, No. By Allah, may I be sacrificed for you. The Prophet said, Neither would people like it for their mothers. Would you like that for your daughter? The man said, No. By Allah, may I be sacrificed for you. The Prophet said, Neither would people like it for their daughters. Would you like that for your sister? The man said, No. By Allah, may I be sacrificed for you. The Prophet said, Neither would people like it for the sisters. Would you like that for your aunts? The man said, No. By Allah, may I be sacrificed for you. The Prophet said, Neither would people like it for their aunts. Then the Prophet placed his hand on him and said, O oh Allah, forgive his sins, purify his heart, and guard his chastity. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. The mercy of our Prophet, peace be upon him, on his nation is not limited to the affairs of the world life. Rather, his mercy extends to the affairs of the hereafter. Once our Prophet, peace be upon him, recited the words of Allah the Almighty about Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, who said, Lord, 
the idols have led many people astray. Anyone who follows me is with me. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, also recited the saying of Allah about Prophet Jesus who said, My Lord, if you punish them, they are young servants. If you forgive them, you are the Almighty, the wise. Upon reciting these verses, our Prophet, peace be upon him, raised his hands and said, O oh Allah, my nation, my nation, and wept. Allah the Exalted said, O Jibreel, go to Muhammad, peace be upon him, and ask him, What makes you weep? So Jibreel came to him and asked him the reason of his weeping. And the Messenger of Allah informed him what he had said, though Allah knew it well. Upon this, Allah said, Jibreel, go to Muhammad, peace be upon him, and say, Verily, we will please you with regard to your nation and will never displease you. There is no doubt that such great manifestations of the mercy that Allah the Almighty has placed in the heart of his Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, are the greatest proofs of the tolerance of Islam and its mercy and easiness. Let's spread mercy among ourselves and let's make mercy the message of Islam to the whole world. As our Prophet, peace be upon him, says, the mercy Merciful ones are shown mercy by Allah, the most merciful. Be merciful on the earth, and you will be shown mercy from who is above the heavens. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon our Master Muhammad and upon his family and companions. And we ask Allah to protect Egypt and raise his flag high among all countries of the world.